Welcome campers. In today's video, we're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Sound and thermal insulation. Ever since I removed the nasty carpet to do the heater core in the Jeep, it's been really hot during the summer from the exhaust and the trans temps. So follow along guys. <music> So the first thing I did was just completely removed all of the uh, overland and camping gear from the interior of the Jeep. And the next step I'm going to do is remove the whole auxiliary battery, all everything in that box and the platform. And then from there it is time to remove the seats just to get the entire floor pan uh, completely exposed. The plan is I'm just going to do up to right here. So uh, I don't really need the uh, the hatch area with any uh, gear or with any insulation in it. So I am either, yeah, just going to go to right here or do up to this uh, little ledge right here with the insulation. Because we don't really need it for the hatch area whatsoever. Plus it leaves me with extra insulation so I could do two or three layers on the trans hump and on... The passenger floorboard since the exhaust runs underneath the floorboard over there so that is the plan i will slowly uh just remove everything until it is all exposed then we can clean it So a good friend of mine, he did the sound insulation within the past, I want to say, six months to a year. And he says the best thing to do is any of the bolts that you have and studs coming out of the floor, put the bolts in their place if you're going to be covering it with insulation. And same thing with the studs so you don't lose any of the the nuts or any of the bolts and then you know where the bolt holes are for your seat in the future and one of the things while I was removing the seats in the past because this the carpet was disgusting from the leaking uh, from the leaking heater core is when I was trying to remove the nut that went on the studs for the outer uh, bracket of the seat it snapped the head of the stud off so my plan is, is I'm going to, uh, before I even get this clean or anything, I'm going to grind these down to nothing on both sides, drill it out with a drill, and I did get some new nuts and bolts from Ace Hardware that I'm going to replace with. So then all four sections of the seat is bolted to the floor, and then on the undercarriage, I'm going to tack weld the bolt to the bottom of the Jeep just to hold it in place. But now we got a... Uh, since we got the seats out and everything, the plan now is just to remove the center console and everything that goes along with it, along with the seatbelt uh, brackets right there. And then once it is gutted, the entire interior, I will grind these down, drill them out, and uh, then from there, it's time to get to cleaning.
All right, it is the next day. I am gonna completely vacuum the entire interior of the Jeep out and then it is time to clean the floor pan with the cleaner and then whatever nasty spots or spots that I want really clean, I will use some brake cleaner on it just to make uh, the sound deadener stick really well. It is all vacuumed. It's still very dusty, so I am gonna get started on the cleaner. Hopefully that should uh, completely turn it around. All right, it is squeaky clean. So, uh, yeah, the sun is setting, so that's all I could get done for today. But uh, tomorrow, after work, I will knock out all of the sound deadener in this. It looks really good. I suggest, though, um, I don't have the torque spit for the seatbelt bracket. But uh, if you do, I would remove the seatbelt brackets just to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to have to... Uh, cut it like cut a square in the uh in the sound deadener to fit over this but uh i would say that's the only other thing i would do different is remove the seat belts so this is the stuff i got i will put a link in the description to it along with a small i think this is about a one or one and a half inch roller to uh help roll it onto the floor to make it stick but I ended up getting two boxes because I want to do two layers on the floor just to make it uh you know as thick as possible so it really helps with the heat and with the sound deadening this stuff seems pretty legit it comes in uh like three pieces to a fold and there's three folds per box so it's oh 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 do not want to open it so it's uh it's pretty organized in the packaging so you could just grab a sheet at a time it seems uh seems thick to me i mean it doesn't really look like it on camera but it is pretty thick and i am going to double layer it maybe even do a third layer in some spots if i do have some left over but yeah it does uh it does seem quality for the price you paid so let's uh let's get started on it All right, so with only installing two and a half sheets so far, one huge tip I could give you guys is cut it into smaller pieces and install it. It makes it a lot easier because it is the, the backing on it is extremely sticky. So if you just cut it into half sheets like what I did, I mean, this stuff is extremely sticky so it's easier to manage a half a sheet instead of a whole one and i think two boxes of sound deadener is it's more than enough to do the area of the jeep i'm doing because it'll easily be i'd say three layers at least two layers over all of it and then three in the spots that you think will be the hot spots which on an xj is the trans hump and the passenger floorboard since the exhaust runs underneath that side of the vehicle so yeah i would say just cut into half sheets and we're gonna keep going
So we are a lot farther now. In some spots there is double layers, like back here I did lay down two. And up there in the front it's a little overlapping. But I do gotta say the roller I got, buy one that's a lot bigger. Um, I would say buy one that's probably two to three times the size because it makes rolling out the sheet a lot faster. Other than that, I mean, everything is going smooth. Cutting it into smaller pieces is helping a lot. And uh, I would say just keep plugging along and two boxes would be more than enough to do the floor pan like this. I'm not even... This is the last sheet of the first box. And I already have one strong layer on along with some overlapping pieces. So you could easily double to triple layer any part of it if you get two boxes. So this is the final product. I, uh, I stayed up late last night and I got all of the sound deadener in. It is a, uh, it's awesome. I got two layers on the driver's side, three layers on the trans hump, and three layers on the passenger side since the exhaust runs on that side. But uh, the only things left are um, I the holes that I drilled for my seat bolts. I need to poke something through the floor to identify where it's at, and I need to cut the sound deadener away right there on both sides and then after that um it is time to start installing the interior so we will get that knocked out Perfect. Since I'll be doing the bolt from the bottom too, it uh, this stuff should do a pretty good seal around the bolt. And then I'll do some silicone on the bottom after I tack weld the bolt in place. This one's just a, a, wee, a wee bit bent. Should work though. If not, I'll, I'll fix the bottom side of it with a grinder. It should hold in place. Also a good tip for people uh, installing it, if you do ins uh, put it on and you have an air bubble, take your razor knife and cut along the air bubble in the center of it and then use your roller and roll it and it'll push down flat and then it'll push the air out of it so it'll be nice and flat and you won't have an air bubble in your, in your insulation. So one thing I did notice is the brackets, the, this one that goes up here and then the, the bigger bracket that goes in the back to hold the console on. Um, make sure you mark out where those go and either use longer screws to go into the existing holes or just, uh, I guess, put them in place and it should hold kind of well, especially between the two seats. It should be pretty staple, but uh, yeah. Most of the center console is in. I just have to uh, put in all the gauges and then I have to, or I've put in all the bezels, do the temp gauge and then hook up the center bezel with the two toggle switches and we will be good to go. So to find the seat belt bolt holes, I crawled underneath the Jeep and they are on the trans tunnel. So I just poked the pick tool through to get an idea of where and then my plan is to just cut a square around it Away. 
the sound deadener in its place. Oh, bump the camera. My bad guys. There we go, I got the the seatbelt hole exposed right there. And uh, that should be more than enough to get the seatbelt hole and the... All right, now that I have the center console in completely, it is time to put in the seats. And then from there, uh, we are practically done. I do have the center console, the seats, and the floor mats in here, and it is all together like we would go on a trip, and I think it looks perfect. Um, I know I will get some questions on why I don't have any carpet in here or anything like that. I'm planning on getting vinyl flooring with backing on it, more insulation backing. So that insulation backing along with this sound deadener should be perfect. I mean, it should, uh, we shouldn't feel any heat during the summer radiating through and it should be nice and warm during the winter. So uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you've gotten this far, uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for our future videos. And thank you again. Bye.